After the procession of the small land kings like the Pallavataraeus passed by, all were in along with his men walked towards the flower garden of Sendan Amudan. A little hidden under a tree near the flower garden was the Sivaka of Lord Madhurandak and the people lifting it. Inquiring about them he learned that they were waiting for him to return as ordered by the prince. Then he went up and entered the garden. After telling those who came with him in a soft voice to look around the garden, he went and stood at the door of the hut. He put his ear to the door that was bolted inside and listened. Synthane Mudan and Pungazali heard voices talking worriedly. Intermittently the sound of someone dying was heard. One of those who went searching around the garden soon returned. Tirumala believed in the things he had brought and stared at the Adakarana of the lamp that came through the door. He came to know that they were the crown, jeweled harem, the am etc. that Prince Madhurandak Deva usually wore. Along with them was the Pithambaram which Madhurandhakar carried as a Tariyam. On seeing these things, the satisfaction in the heart of all Warkadayan was reflected in his face. Okay, enough searching. Call the others here too. Stand ready for anything with weapons in hand, everyone. After saying that, all Warkadian knocked lightly on the door of the hut. When there was no response from inside, he stumbled again and knocked hard on the door. Who's there? What's going on here? said the voice of the flower girl. Amini. I am Tirumalai Namadasan aka All Warkadian. Please open the door and bless me. There is something important to do. All Warkadian said. Footsteps were heard inside. Punguzali came and stood at the door and asked, What important business do you have here? You are a valiant Vaishnava. This is the hut of the Sivanadiyars. You know that the master of this house is not well. Why are you bothering me by coming at night? She said. All were Kadayan said, Samathira Kumari. I am a valiant Vaishnava, that is why I have come to perform Dushtanik Graha Sishta Paripalanam. If you do not open the door immediately, it will be broken open. He said. Vaishnava. Are you such a great warrior? Have you come to show us your prowess? Saying that, Funguzali opened the door of the hut. Anger flashed in her eyes. She wanted to show her anger on all Warkadian, but was startled to see some soldiers standing behind him. Immediately, he calmed down his anger and asked, Sir. What is this? Who are these people? Why have they come here? Did they come with you? She said. Yes, they have come with me. They have come on royal business. Those who obstruct their business will be punished by the king, all Warkadian said. Good royal work. Good royal punishment. When are we going to go to Kadakari and listen to the sound of the ocean and be at peace without listening to all these kinds of talks? Let them go. Tell them all to stay a little away and come in. I don't know what kind of royal work is kept inside this hollow hut. Aren't you alone enough to see? That's a do lying in bed in agony. If they come in, he'll be startled, so he'll get even worse. She said. When Alvar Kadayan entered the hut, he slammed the door again. Punguzali. Your speech is amazing. When did you become so disgusted with royal affairs? What was the purpose of marrying the crown prince and ascending to the throne? When that happens, should you be completely focused on royal affairs? Said Thirumalai. Sir, Vaishnava. I have completely given up that intention. In the last few days I have come to know how uncomfortable and how painful it is to bear the burden of a kingdom. I am no longer fond of even coming within ten years of the throne. Vaishnava. I give you glad tidings. My father is I have decided to marry Sendan Amuthan. We told Sembian Mathavi who came here a while back and got his blessings. When Amuthan recovers a bit we will both leave for Kadakare. All Workadian interrupted, Aha! You have made a good decision. The Arambayahyars who are not rich and rich, I want. Heaven, wealth and earth, I am destined to be born as a fish in the Tyra Venkatashsuna. Alvar has blessed that. Similarly, 
you also decided not to use this earthen government and thought that you can live as fish in the sea with fish. But who saw? If there is a rule that Saras has to sit on a throne wearing a crown, then it will happen accordingly. Even if you don't want it, you won't let it go. Said all Workadian. Enough sir. Ridicule. Tell me what you came here for. Said Punghuali. Amini. Have you just given up the desire to rule the land? Or have you and Santhan Amuthan given up the desire to live in this earthly world? I came to know this. Said Vaishnava. What is this question? We both have a desire to live on this earth for some time longer. We are determined to get married today? O oh Vaishnava! Congratulate us! And pray for Athens' speedy recovery! Said Punghuali. I am ready to greet and bless. But my greeting and blessing shall not be in vain. If you both had the intention of living in this world, why did you help the prisoners of the underworld to escape? Asked Thirumalai. Pung Jalai looked surprised and asked, What is this? We don't know anything. We never help anyone to run away. She said. Vandiyadeva and another madman from the underground prison accused of killing Kari Kalar have escaped today. They seem to have come all the way to this Nandavan. Then two of the two horses have run away from here. There is blood on the ground somewhere near this hut. There are signs that many people have come to this place. So you are the one. It is assumed that you must have helped the fugitives. The Prime Minister sent me to Anuradhar out of admiration for you. If the men of Kajumbalar Velar had come, would they have imprisoned you immediately? All Workadians said. Thank you very much to the Prime Minister and to you, Vaishnava. Athan will get well in two days. Immediately we will leave and go to Kadakar. Then we will not look at Tanjavur. Until then, you will have to help us without disturbing any of the royal servants. Pungazalai begged. I don't mind helping. But you must tell the truth. Is there no one here but the three of you? He asked. Why didn't you come? Now you have come. A little while ago, Champion Mathavi and Prince Madhurand Hakkar came and inquired lovingly about Athens' body and left. Just now everywhere around Tanjavur Fort there is a movement of warriors. How do we know who has come and who has gone? Vaishnava. Only for the first question you asked. The answer is sure. We didn't help anyone to escape from here. Is this a true word? Yes, I swear. We didn't help anyone run away from here. Then Vandiyathevan, who escaped from prison, must now be in this hut said Thirumalai. Before he could close his mouth after saying this, a pitiful moan of agony was heard from under the rope bed where Santhanamuthan was lying. 